We should all have health care, a safe place to live, and food. We'll get through this. Because we are resilient. Stay strong. Please be humane to each other. We must love each other. Life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% of how you react. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. We need your vote in November. So relax, stay at home, save lives. It's tough out there right now, but if you want to feel better and make somebody else cheer up, get out your chapter list and start calling some chapter members. It'll cheer you both up. It's time like this. I can only look to the man upstairs. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay indoors. Sheltering in place saves lives. Please, 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 that is my prayer to practice um, safety and being safe. We hope that you stay healthy and stay connected. Women are on the front lines of the pandemic as we fill many essential jobs. In fact, the healthcare industry is powered by women. As we bear down to beat COVID-19, we just want to extend our deepest gratitude to the true heroines of this crisis. Now faith is a substance of things hoped for. During this time of crisis, we will continue to advocate for the most marginalized, building upon a robust, now virtual, feminist movement. Our mission to convene feminist community and advocate for feminist policy has never been more important than it is right now. Women and people of color are the most impacted by the COVID-19 virus. We need the Equal Rights Amendment in the U.S. Constitution now. Here's an Illinois shout out to all the amazing feminists in the medical professions who are showing the next generations what a true Shira looks like shelter in place does save lives. With the states of Oregon and Washington, we're able to send surplus ventilators to New York City. And while the world is resetting, this is a reminder for us to be still and to surrender and to practice gratitude. Gratitude for being home, gratitude for being healthy, or just gratitude for being. I'm Triana Arnold James, president of Georgia Now, national organization for women here in the state of Georgia. It is so important that we look out for one another. Remember the old saying, no man, no child, no woman left behind. We are all in this together. Hi, I'm Tony Van Pelt, the president of the National Organization for Women. The coronavirus has changed many things for all of us, but if there's one thing that has remained constant, it's we're united in our work to defend women's rights and to lift up our spirits by working together. We speak truth to power and we power forward. Yes, we are all in this together. We are all in this together. We're all in this together. We are all in this together. We are all in this together. We're all in this together. We are all in this together. We are all in this together. We are all in this together. We're all in this together. We're all in this together. We are all in this together. We're all in this together. We are all in this together. We're all in this together. We're all in this together.